Hello? Hello, I'm looking for Mr. Scott Wilson, please. May I help you, sir? My name is uh, Jonathan. I'm calling you from the Oak Dean Vet, Dr. Joe. Yes, Dr. Joe. This is obviously about uh, Bell and Schmiegel. Yeah? It's just about the account and just how it's going to be settled. Um, because okay, what is the amount that's outstanding? Well, there was the, the 510 for the medication for Schmiegel. Yeah. Um, but there was an amount that wasn't invoiced to you, 1450 for Bell. I put, I brought my account right up to date. I mean, she was in hospital now this last or last week or something like that. There was a big amount that I paid a while ago. This amount is uh, for when she was there last week, Monday to Thursday. So it's one thousand four hundred and five hundred rand. <laughs> okay, not what she told me that the amount was going to be because he wasn't going to charge for this. He wasn't going to charge for that. I'll just break it down because Bell's uh, had uh, n- her nails being clipped, which was one hundred and twenty, right? Sorry, she had a what? Her nails clipped. Yeah. We call it a pedicure. Okay. The hair trimming and wash was 260. Okay. The little bow that we put in the hair afterwards, uh, 50. Right. Then she also had a special doggy massage. Jeez, that's quite nice. <laughs> yeah, and she had two belly tickles at uh, 100 bucks a piece, so that's a 200 rand there. I don't believe this. I really don't. And then she had uh, eyelash plucking for 65 rand. You know, when she said, I said to her, do they have to stay in? Do they need this? Do they need that? Yeah, no, no. And Dr. Joe said it's not going to be that expensive. Mm. Let me speak to her. Then I'll, I'll look, I've got your number. I mean, there's no way I'm going to go away. Mm. But then, then I'll come sort out the account for you, right? Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers, okay. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> I can <hear> it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh God, he's going to freak. Don't take the call. Okay. Just let it ring off, and then we'll call back. Yeah. Are you? All right. Does the vet phone you? No, not yet. Why? No. He phones me. He wants to know when I'm going to come sort out the bill. It's one four five zero four four Bell and five hundred and ten yeah. for Schmiegel. Who did I'm you? Tell me, I'm not paying that money. <laughs> They, gave, they they clipped her nails, they gave her a f- doggy massage, put a ribbon in her f- hair. <laughs> okay. I'm not... You can f- forget about it. Now you know why I get upset. Because I've got to blow money on sh- Oh, no, you don't like the number. I don't give a f***, Jimmy. I don't... Two living f***. One, four, five, oh. Now, where, where, where am I going to... Where am I going to get two grand from, Tom? Tim, oh, the dog's going to give us water and ice. Uh, Timmy. <laughs> One, no, he broke it down. He gave me a whole lot of doggy massage and a, he- and a ribbon in the hair. I have never in my life had a call from the f***ing vet. There is no f***ing way on God's living earth that I'm paying that amount of money. You can forget about it. You best f***ing take a loan or something. I am not, the dogs do not contribute to the water lines. They dig up my garden, they f*** up my f***ing house. There is no, no f***ing way that I'm paying that amount of money. Um, hold on. I really don't know. This Oak phones me. I said to him, there's no... I told him straight. I said, there's no f- way I'm paying it. He says, well, then I don't know. I'm going to answer. Then I said, you've got to do what you've got to do. Uh, and... There is no way. He put a ribbon in the hair. 15 for a ribbon in the hair. And she didn't even come home with a f- ribbon in the hair. <laughs> 210 rand for the for, for a clipping of the toenail. Uh, a, a doggy massage, 280 rand. But he's going on, he's going on. I said, oh, wh- what are you smoking? Oh, goodness, I don't know. Really, this is not funny. I'm telling you now, this dog's foot can fall off, this cat can <laughs> rot to death. But there's no way in hell that I'm paying two grand for these animals again. I'm, I'm just my whole week and everything like it. Two grand for animals. Oh, Matthew, please don't think of it like that. No, Tommy, no. I'm telling you now, I am, you, you don't even understand. I am so f***ed off now. I am so, you don't even understand how angry I am. I threw my f***ing phone on the floor. I am angry. Hello? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> He's cross, eh? Yeah. <laughs> he is livid. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm shaking in my panty. <laughs> Hold on there. Hello, Matthew. Yeah. It's Wackhead Simpson. How are you, sir? Wackhead Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> don't talk cock. It is. I promise you. <laughs> no, I mean, man, man, man. Oh. No, don't talk cock. Uh, don't talk. Sh- not wacky. <laughs> No, I'm dead serious. And, I, and, I, and, your, and your wife's pregnant as well, eh, Cassie? Ooh, sorry? I said, and your wife's pregnant as well, eh? That's correct, yes. 
Yeah, you ate a fish. You know that, eh? You can be glad. You know, you come from Pantan, I hear you all the time, and my wife says, yeah. Brother, that was a good one, eh? Ah, uh, Haram, Haram. Haram, <laughs> Haram, you had me I love him. I absolutely love him. Yeah. Matthew Scott Wilson. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new Shame record. Man. We have a brand new record. Let me tell you what it is. And it goes to Matthew Scott Wilson. Four? The F-bomb count yeah. in that prank call is 32. No. 32. Can we get a pin-up of Matthew? <laughs>